It's Big Board Sports with Roger Weiland on 104.5 The Team. Moving along here, busy Tuesday morning. Roger Weiland with you on Big Board Sports along with my producer, Zach By, who is now the man running our show here as Brady Farkas has moved on to Burlington, Vermont. We congratulate Brady and we welcome Zach to our show. We also welcome Grace Claxon to our show, the Puerto Rican uh, sprinter and hurdler hailing from the University at Albany. And we welcome Grace to Big Board Sports. Good morning, Grace. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing pretty good. I know I met you one time because I, I, I was the old man that came into the weight room with kind of the uh, the gray hair that was getting ready to work out one day shortly before you were getting ready to leave to go to Rio. And I think I said hello uh, to you and you were talking about how many interviews that you were doing leading up to just getting out of town here and getting to Rio. But uh, that was me. It's a pleasure having you on our show. Uh, Grace, what what was it like? I mean, it's, I know it's a loaded question here, but what was it like competing uh, in the Olympic Games? Did it li- live up to everything you thought it was going to be? Yes, yes. Um it was a great experience. It's like, you know, the Olympics is a dream that every athlete wants to accomplish, and I definitely accomplished it. I wasn't expecting, I like I was telling my coach and all my other friends, you know, my goal was 2020, but then I don't know, like, God blessed me into making, into qualifying for this year Olympics. So, um, you know, that's a huge blessing for me, and I'm really excited for for that. Yeah, because you ended up in the semifinals, right? Yes, yes, I did end up in the semifinals. Which, again, you were, you're thinking four years down the road, and let me just go over here and see how I do, and all of a sudden, here you are in the semis. What was that feeling like after that first night when you knew that you just earned a spot in the semifinals? Were you pinching yourself? I mean, were you, were, what, what, what was your <laughs> mindset there? Yes, um, I just remember, like, the first night. I mean, like, the days heading up to race day um i was calm and then like two days before i started getting extremely nervous so i called my mom i was like mom i can't eat i'm too <laughs> nervous she was like just relax you know have fun so the day of the race you know i did everything that i usually do i am um, i wake up i have breakfast i take a quick nap i eat my lunch then um we just go out to the track uh, my coach gave me a nice message she said you know you you you're prepared for this you're prepared, which is the key. You're focused. You're talented, and plus you're blessed. So just go out there and have fun. You have nothing to lose. And I just I took that in, and I went out. I had fun, and then I qualified. You know, so I didn't feel that pressure that you know that a lot a lot of athletes feel most of the time. So I didn't feel that. So I think that's what that helped me a lot to you know feel confident, trust myself to get into the the next round. So when I actually qualified. I don't know, I was excited. I was happy. I was dancing. Um, I called my mom. She, she, she it was like she was happy. Everyone was happy for me. My inbox, my Facebook, my my phone, it was blowing up. You know, um, people just felt, you know, proud and excited for me. So it's like it wasn't just my happiness. It was a lot of people's happiness, and that made me really, really satisfied and, and proud. We are talking with Grace Clax and the Olympian uh, from the University at Albany. And we uh, we are such big fans, Grace, of, of Roberto Vivas. I've known him for a long, long time, and I know what kind of coach he is. Can you talk about the, the your your uh, time and still back now at the University of Albany and what your coach, Roberto Vivas, has meant to you and to get you to where you're at and, and even going to get you even better uh, in the next few years? Yes, Coach, he... He, he's one of the best coach. I, I mean, he's the best coach, hands down. He's the best coach. Um, I don't regret transferring transferring here. Like I always say, he's like my my father and my uncle at the same time. He's like family. He has helped me so much. Things that I didn't expect I could have accomplished. Richard Hurdling. I started hurdling just last year and. To, to, to be honest, I didn't think I would have qualified for the Olympics in hurdles. I thought it would have been something else, like my main event, which was my main event back then, which was the 400 meters. But he trusted me. He believed in me. He believed in my talent. And he said, Grace, we're going to make it. You know, we're going to make it. And that's what happened. So anything he says 
I'm just going to, I won't even ask him. I'll just do it because <laughs> I know what he, what he does and what he says is for the best of me. Like, he wants the best for me, and I really respect that. Hey Grace, we're we're happy for you, uh, and I know it's it's has it been tough to you, you got to refocus now, right, and get back to doing what you do at the University at Albany, and the, has, has that been <laughs> difficult after coming off the incredible high that you just talked about in the Rio games and what you oh back now to the University at Albany and doing yeah. what you need to do there. How difficult yeah. has that been? <laughs> yes, um, actually, I, I just came out of the library and. I saw one of my friends, and she was like, how was your summer? I was, I was like, my summer was long. You know, um, I've been training a lot, and at, by the end of summer, I was in the Olympics, so I only had, like, maybe one week of vacation. So now I'm, tra- I'm like, I'm getting back into school zone, you know, like, okay, great, this is school time, stay focused. This is, like, a whole new year. We're starting from zero. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be good, right? I mean, it's going to be good. Well, you're going to continue to get the headlines, Grace. No doubt uh, you, you put, well, you all, but he's been on the map. But but this this certainly uh, elevated them even more when they've got somebody doing what you did, uh, representing them and, of course, uh, your country uh, in the Olympics. Congratulations on everything. Good luck with your schoolwork, and I'm sure I'll see you around <laughs> over on the campus. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. You got it. Thank you, Grace. Grace Claxton, Puerto Rican sprinter and hurdler from the University of Albany.